Hello, hello everybody. Doing a video today as important news came up in the community of alternativeness. Um, those of you who remember Warp Tour, sadly, you know, disbanded uh, not so many years ago, but uh, long enough, it seems like it's been forever. Well, we had some news today, and I had a double take to make sure it was real and legit, but here we go. I'll play this video for you. Rock feed. From its founding all the way back in 1995 to its unfortunate end in 2019, few have done more for rock music than the Vans Warped Tour, to say the least. Serving as a vital launch pad for some of rock's biggest bands to this day, and yes, even global pop superstars. Everyone True. from Paramore to Fall Out Boy to Sum 41, and even Blink-182, just yep. to name a few, and I'm only naming a handful including none other than Katy Perry, who also got her start on the Vans Warped Tour. So she when did. things closed down in 2019, since that time, things really haven't yeah, felt the same. Day. Of course, we have Spotify and social media, but there's no better way to discover a new band than seeing this massive lineup of artists right. going to a show and getting to see them in person. And so after that, a lot of bands really had a tough time kind of staying in it once Warp Tour went yeah. away and they weren't able to directly connect with those diehard Post fans that would go was very year in odd and year out to the Vans Warped time. Um, I will say that I'm concerned though that the pricing probably won't be as we remember it back in the day with so many bands um, getting a huge bang for the buck. Um, we'll see because I do hear that Live Nations unfortunately is um, involved. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Warp Tour. So I've got some very good news for you. The Vans Warp Tour, according to multiple sources, will be making a triumphant comeback in 2025. Whoop, whoop. And while things will look a little bit different next year, there are I'm sure many 20s. of you are going to be very, very excited. Here's what we know. For those of us who were lucky enough to grow up attending Warp Tour, OzFest, and even... Ma Honestly, I was wondering when this was going to happen because things were trending in that way. You know, Emo's Not Dead Cruise, When We Were Young Festival... Um, and just the, you know, my chemical romance getting back together uh, a few years back. Just, it's just now is a good time. I was kind of patiently waiting, but very doubtful and skeptical that I was like, ah, Warp's not going to ever come back. We're getting all this other stuff is nice, but um, it just feels dead still without uh, Warped. Well, <laughs> maybe 2025. Mayhem Fest. It was a special time in music. Jam-packed lineups with bargain ticket prices. Prices that you'll likely never see again. Founded back in 1995, what I was saying. the Warp Tour has the impressive distinction of serving as the longest running touring music festival to date in North America. That first Warp Tour in 1995 featured bands like Deftones, mm -hmm. Sublime, and No Doubt, just to name a few. Yeah. And for many years on Warp Tour, numerous bands would participate in the Battle of the Bands. Back in 2005, over 10,000 bands tried out for a chance to play on Warp Tour. Yep. In addition to the bands, the Warp Tour was also supportive of numerous nonprofit organizations, helping them spread the word about their causes to the large crowds in attendance. In the later years, the Warp Tour would also host cool live streams where fans who couldn't attend would get a chance to watch their favorite bands broadcast on the internet. And they were responsible for helping to introduce some of today's biggest artists, both in rock and in pop. Mm -hmm. Everyone from Blink-182, Sum 41, my Chemical Romance, Fall Out Boy, Paramore, even Paramore. Katy Perry. And then, on November 15, 2017, founder Kevin Lyman announced that the 2018 Warp Tour would be their final cross-country run, following it up by celebrating the festival's 25th anniversary in 2019, uh. with just three festival events taking place in Cleveland, Ohio, Atlantic City, New Jersey, in Mountain View, California. In the years that followed after the end of the Warp Tour, many bands have struggled to connect with fans. While we yeah. have social media and Spotify and playlists, nothing compares to performing in front of the passionate audience anymore. that the Warp Tour would bring. And now, um, I've, I've noticed that in just recent times, they're just not as approachable now. You have basically have to shell out like five hundred dollar VIP package to do a meet and greet and stuff. Back in Warped, you can just walk up next to. One of the band members, um, let's just say, you know, walk up to Ronnie Radke just right at the beer tent or something. You know, you just, those were the times. Those were the days. And just kind of have a little bit more easy access. But now you have to pay for that privilege a lot of times. So, 
One of rock music's most iconic brands will be making a comeback in 2025. According to multiple sources familiar with the matter, Warp Tour will celebrate its anniversary with a series of festivals next year. When Warp Tour returns in 2025, the rock festival will now be overseen by Live Nation. Although festival uh, founder Kevin Lyman is said to be heavily involved, a request for comment from Live Nation was not returned. It's so great not. for a Live number Nation. of reasons to hear that Warp Tour is coming back. Number one, especially for the bands, these upcoming groups are able to get in front of this big live audience and really grow their fan base. I think that's a much better way for them than let's say Spotify or the internet or what have you. Although those mm -hmm. are great ways as well, there's no substitute for live music. So it's great to hear. It's also wonderful to hear that Kevin Lyman will be involved. Yeah, I don't awesome. think it's gonna be back. exactly like Warped Tour was in the past, but I also think they're definitely gonna do this as smart close and it's as possible. Have that Please? nice nostalgic feel for so many people like yeah. myself who grew up going to Warped Tour that means so much to them. So I'm excited to see that. now. Can they keep those ticket prices down like they were in the past? Probably not. And, you know, times have changed. Things are a lot more expensive now. So there's no way that you're going to be able to do that and then also have the number of bands on the bill that you do. After 2025, we'll see if they return never to that never. traditional touring model that they were doing in the past. I don't know if that will happen for the reasons I just yeah. mentioned with so many bands on the bill and how expensive it is now for everyone to tour. I don't know if that's feasible. Moreover, it'll just be something where people are taking big road trips to go see these regional festivals, but we'll I have am. to see how Hopefully. it all shakes out. But it's a very exciting time. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. And if you're new here, wow. be sure to subscribe with notifications on. So there you go, folks. Um, so we'll see how this model works now as it's going to be uh, changed and, and adapted to the current times, which you think of, you know, talking about back in my day that we're talking about like 1960 something, but no, it's, you know, um, this wasn't that long ago, but prices of everything really literally pandemic driven, maybe, you know, whatever the reasons, but it's nuts, but I'm, I'll be watching this closely as I'm sure a lot of us will, um, and at least do the, the touring, like it's called, you know, and going, uh, traveling around, um, that would be nice. But yeah, if it's going to be one of those things, um, I'm sure people pay to travel next date over if they don't have a spot, um, location or venue near, nearby kind of thing. But that was a good thing about back in the day. Um, they had so many locations, um, but yeah. Memories. Okay, well, let us know what you think. Comment below, and uh, we'll check in um, with more updates. If, as long as you know, they bring more updates out, which you probably will over the next um, near future, I'm sure. Um, I'm skeptical of Live Nation, not going to lie. But, yeah, leave the comments here. Maybe you like, maybe you dislike the idea. Maybe you want Warp to be just rest in peace, as it was now. I try to revive it and it not be the same, and then it flopped. Who knows? Whatever you think, um, go ahead and leave in the comment, and um, yeah, I'll read them, definitely. So, all right, everyone. So, hopefully I have a good time, and like I say, don't do anything I wouldn't do, and if you do, record it. Peace.